Hello everyone and welcome back to this video, it's Leonard here again and in today's video tutorial we are going to be talking about liquidation, alright? So if you have been in trading for a while now or you are just coming into trading, you might have heard the word liquidation. What does it mean? How do you avoid that? That is exactly what we'll be talking about in this video. Now liquidation occurs or it happens to those who are leveraged traders. Okay, if you are going to be trading margin in the crypto space, if you are going to be trading features in the crypto space, you can get liquidated. And what is the reason for that is because you are trading with borrowed funds. The same thing happens whether you are, if you are trading for it. Okay, and why do people get liquidated? The simple reason to why people get liquidated is because people don't want to lose money. All right. And because they don't want to lose money in this business called trading, whether you are trading forex or you are trading crypto, because you don't want to lose money, at the end of the day, you end up losing everything you have. And that is when you get liquidated. Okay. People get liquidated very often because they fail to use this powerful tool called stop loss. That is why people get liquidated. But I want to share with you a simple strategy, okay, that can actually change your mindset, the way you think about trading. You know, my people say, I no go agree, I no go agree, now in the tear shed. All right? I no go agree, I no agree, the tear shed. So, if you understand what I mean is, because you are insisting that you don't want to lose, you will end up losing everything you have. So, so in order to avoid getting liquidated in your trade, all you need to do is to follow this simple analogy that I'm going to give to you. It is a strategy that will help you stay profitable as a trader, all right? It helps you remove the emotions and focus on a bigger opportunity in the market, all right? So if I switch to my chart right here, this is what is happening right now, okay? With this huge candle that is dropping here, okay? This candle that is dropping right here, you'll see that a lot of persons are being liquidated at this point right now. And what is the reason for that? People refuse to use stop loss. It has happened to me a lot of time, okay? I learned the hard way and I don't want you to learn the hard way because it may cost everything that you have, all right? So what happened? Now, let's assume that I bring my um, long position to, okay? Let's say I enter a trade somewhere around here and maybe my stop loss is just a little bit below the trend line you are looking at right now, okay? And then I bring in my take profit to somewhere around here. What you are looking at right now is that if this market or if this trade goes in my favor, all right, I am going to actually make around 3.7%. That is exactly what I'm making in this trade if this goes in my favor. And what am I risking right here is about 0.78%. That is what I'm risking. Now, if I fail to put stop loss at this price right here, and then this market, it happens that it breaks this trend line and it goes down. Okay, when it goes down and I refuse to put stop loss, it will be going against me minus 1%, minus 2%, minus 3%, and it continues to go that way. Now, depending on the size of the leverage you're using, whether it is a 10x leverage, 20x leverage, 100x leverage, you would have been liquidated somewhere around in between, okay, without you putting stop loss. If you don't use this powerful to call stop loss, you would have been liquidated somewhere around there. And when you get liquidated, what happens? You are losing the whole of your trading capital. When you get liquidated, you are losing the whole of your trading capital. So it is not a wise decision that you always leave your trade open when you know that you don't have enough funds to actually you know, stay in the market for as long as you wish. All right? Anything can happen in the game of trading, okay, or in the business of trading, whatever you regard it as, anything can happen. All right? So why you are predicting that you want to buy, okay, some other persons are predicting that they want to sell. So if the sellers overpower the buyers, definitely the buyers are the ones who will be losing. And then if the buyers overpower the sellers, the sellers are the ones who will be losing. So you need to be smart about this. Now, this is what happened. Let's assume that I set a stop loss at 0.7 or around 1%, okay? I would have lost around 1% or 0.7% of my trading capital. And what would that do for me? It would not give me an opportunity to target a bigger market. So if I come down here, let me remove this out of the way. If, you, if I bring in my um, horizontal line here and I put a line somewhere around here, you see that there is a support down here, meaning that the market can actually bounce down from, you know, bounce back from around 25,500 or 25,400, depending. 
okay depending on the force that the bulls come into the market with so it means that this market can actually bounce back from here now if i lose one percent or two or zero point seven percent of my capital here what will happen i now have a bigger opportunity to enter the market with you know much margin to make more profit in the market all right so if i have and if i now bring in my long position too and say okay i'm entering this trade rally right here okay i'm still going to raise around one or seven well zero point seven percent okay let's just leave it at one percent of the remaining capital i have this time around instead of just targeting three percent or four percent i'll be targeting remember that the previous target was this resistor right here okay we are hoping that the market will come back to around 27100 or 27200 so if i now enter this market around here and i target this area this time around i'm making over 6.9 percent as against the initial three percent that i intended to make in the previous trade okay so you see that you would have still made back those the money or the little losses that you incurred here right so what i'm actually driving at is that the more you keep resisting to lose okay a trade in the market the more chances you start to lose everything you have all right no matter how professional forget what you see on videos um screenshots of successful trade and all of that all these professionals are they all lose trade they all lose trade so even if it is ten dollar that is your trading capital learn to manage that trading capital very well now the basic reason why people refuse to use stop losses is it happens a lot it has happened to me several times okay it happens to a lot of persons you open a trade somewhere around here okay and what happened the market will come hit your stop loss and then immediately it will reverse back and hit your take profit if you have take profit target one two three it will all hit the take profit okay and then continue to go up all right so because of this simple you know the way the market moves and all of that that the market will always go and hit your stop loss and then go back to your take profit level that is why some persons are refusing to use stop loss but it is not a wise idea okay it is not good for you so always use stop loss whether you hit your stop loss 10 times once you are using good risk management depending on your risk tolerance okay once you are, once you are using good risk management you will always be a winner in the market all right so you risk little when you lose don't worry okay wait for another opportunity there will always be a thousand and one opportunity in the market for you to make profit so starting from today learn how to use stop loss if you have a hundred dollar trading capital and you want to risk ten dollar per trade five dollar per trade make sure that you are risking that and if the market goes against you please relax okay go chill up somewhere and then when you see a bigger opportunity you can make back that little money that you've lost okay either two three four five or even ten times all right you can make them back so this market is a fight between bulls and bears another thing we need to equally look at is that the reason why exchanges or the broker allow your buy and sell trade to go to go through is because there are other people let's say you want to sell there is somebody on the other side who wants to buy and while you are intending to make profit that person is equally intending to make profit so whichever way the trade goes one of you must be a winner the two of you cannot win at the same time so is it that you are losing to the other person or the other person is losing to you so that's what happens there is it that the bears are losing to the bulls or the bulls are losing to the bears it is a continuous fight so always fight run away so that you will live to fight another day I hope I've been able to inspire you. I hope I've been able to encourage you. Please, whenever you are trading, use stop losses. Okay? In all of your trade. All right? Use stop losses. And if, if your strategy is to trade with trend lines, okay, just wait for the breakout. And the retest is if possible. Always wait for the breakout. And when it breaks your trend line, follow the direction of the trend. All right? 
Now, if you have gained value from this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, okay? Give it a thumbs up and leave a like, a like, a nice comment below. And if you are new to my channel, if you have not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. That way you encourage me to continue to create content like this, okay? If you want to learn more, you can join my Telegram group using the link in the video description. Now, if you don't have an exchange and you want to trade with my community, I have a private community where I send signals, free signals, okay? And I trade with them. We do meet every week, okay, to analyze and look at the market i ask, ask answer all of their questions if you want to be um, a part of that community all you just need to do you can join the community for free if you sign up using the bible link that i've added in the video description okay so just sign up using the bible link and then make a deposit on your bible that can get your account verified then you can contact me via whatsapp or telegram okay then i'll be able to add you to the group and you'll be a part of the community where we can interact and trade together so that is it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video